Hi guys, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and it is a beautiful spring day here in April and it is warm outside, 73 degrees. Now, warm outside feels really, really nice and one thing that can be easy to overlook is how fast your vehicle can get way too hot, even deadly hot for your dog if they're left inside. We're gonna do a little experiment today to show you what this actually looks like and how fast it can become dangerous. Now, the average person, according to the internet, spends approximately 43 minutes in the grocery store. So we've taken a trip to town, we're stopped at the grocery store, and we're going to do our best to simulate this. I have a couple different uh, monitors here. We have one probe, this is just my grill uh, temperature gauge uh, that's hanging here. That's going to give us our ambient temperature. It's sitting in the cool air coming out of the vents. And then the other one that is a little bit warmer, um, it's showing 80 degrees up here on the dash. We're going to actually set it out so it's in the sun so we can see that number as well. We'll have this rolling. And then as you can see here, it is 73 degrees outside according to the vehicle. And then according to the weather channel, it says it's actually 75 degrees outside right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start a timer and we're gonna check in every 10 minutes by taking my temperature and checking on what the actual temperatures in the vehicle have gotten to. Now, I've seen a lot of times dogs left in vehicles with just the window cracked. So I've got a couple, uh, I've got a little gap there. We're gonna do it in all four windows. So I've got the, the old windows cracked for myself. Let's see how hot it gets and let's see how fast. Um, to start with, my temperature is 97.2, which is perfectly comfortable. I'm afraid to see how hot this is gonna get. We're gonna stop the car and start the timer at the same time. All right, folks, let's get started. All right, well, we are rolling up on our first 10 minute mark here. We've got uh, 9.46 on the clock. You can already see that we are up to 87 degrees in our ambient temperature probe and then um, 105 sitting there in the dash. And we just lost our dash because the battery shut off. Now we know that that shuts off after 10 minutes. Um, let's take a quick look here at the weather channel. It's still, it's reading now that it's 76 degrees currently according to the weather channel app. So we are going to keep on rolling. Our clock is ticking and we will uh, see you in another 10 minutes. I probably ought to take my temperature here. My temperature says 99.9 already, which is up a degree and a half, almost two full degrees. So we will be back in about 10 minutes and see, see where we're at then. All right, guys, so we are rolling up on our 20 minute mark. We are just coming up there. Now, you can see already our temperature has come up in the vehicle. Again, we are at approximately 90, 91 degrees in here. And I can tell you, I'm starting to feel it. I My body feels warmer, my head feels warmer. Um, and we'll switch over here. The unit sitting up there in the sun or kind of in the sun on the dash is reading at 114, 115 range, which is hot. So 90, 91 in here. Let's go ahead and check my temperature. And that is saying that I'm up to 100.2, 100.2. We will go again quick and look at the weather, reload does say that it's getting slightly warmer outside again. We're 77 degrees outside. Uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. We will see you guys here in the next 10 minutes and see where we're at then. Well, we actually had to switch out cameras. I still have 
our time. Whoop. Our time is still rolling. Uh, the camera actually got too hot sitting in the vehicle here and shut itself off. So that is a, a big indication that it's getting freaking hot in here, folks. So we are rolling up on our 30 minute mark. We had to switch cameras because the uh, main camera unit that we're using overheated and now we're going to take a quick look at where everything is at. Um, this has been fluctuating a little bit here between 93, 94 degrees, uh, which is again a few degrees warmer than it was last time. We'll switch over and look on the dashboard there. We're up to 122 degrees and what, 121, 122. Now we can go ahead and check my temperature again. And that says that you didn't do it right. It says here that we are at 100.2, which is what I was at last time. I definitely feel warmer to myself, uh, but my internal temperature is currently the same, 100.2. So we will, uh, and Cat, what are you at? Cat's all the way up to 100 and 102. So Cat's sitting a little warmer than I am even right now. Um, I know that, uh, I just looked it up while we were sitting here because I was wondering, is it, are we going to do something to actually um, hurt ourselves? And it says that as long as we're under 105 internal body temperature, we should be pretty safe as far as not giving ourselves a heat stroke. So we've got that going in our direction. But we have approximately 10 minutes left until we hit that average time that we were talking about of 40 minutes for a stop at a, a grocery store or a convenience store. And um, it's getting hot in here. It's getting really hot in here. We're gonna keep rolling through this, get to the end of that 40 minute mark, and then we may push it just a little bit longer or see where we're at. Thanks guys. Well, we are rolling up on the end of our 40 minutes. We're at 39 minutes and 33 seconds. Um, the vehicle is up to approximately, it's float between 95, 96, 97 give or take. Um, and then our dash, yeah, there, 97. And then our dash is up to 127 degrees, uh, which is hot. I'm going to do a quick check here on the outside temperature, if we're getting any warmer or not. Yeah, we're up uh, one more degree. It's 78 degrees outside. And then we'll do a quick check here on my temperature. I'm at 100.6 on my forehead. Now my leg over here feels pretty hot because it's kind of sitting in the sun. And that's saying that my leg's at 107.8, actually. Where are you at, cat? 1022. So she keeps coming up. Uh, the good news is we're all under 105 degrees. Um, but I can tell you, I feel hot. I feel uncomfortably hot. And uh, we are, like I said, just hitting that 40 minute mark. And um, it, that would be your typical time, I guess, of what the average person's spending in the store. But what we're gonna end up doing is probably having to switch cameras again, because I think the current camera that, you, that we're using is just about to overheat. We're shooting on a GoPro now, and that's just about to overheat. But we're gonna go ahead and push this all the way to an hour. Um, definitely sitting here for 40 minutes didn't kill me, uh, but it is hot and it is uncomfortably so. We're going to go ahead and roll the windows up and see kind of if that pushes us in the next 20 minutes to drastically hotter or if, um, you know, it kind of levels out at this degree. Again, this is uh, just a good reminder. I mean, when we started this, we were about 68 degrees in the vehicle and in just 40 minutes, we've gone up 30 degrees. Um, it's hot. It's really, really hot. Let's see what happens here in the next 20 minutes. Excuse me, I'll have to roll these windows up and see what that does for us. We'll be back with you here in just a couple minutes. So we're actually doing a short pit stop here. We're only just seven minutes in and the temperature's already gone up a few degrees and we've seen it's bouncing around a little bit between 99, 100, 101, give or take. Um, and 
I just have to mention that it's gotten drastically hotter when we rolled those cracked windows up. Um, so definitely if you, we just killed camera number two. So um, what I was saying though, is we, we rolled the windows up and that's made a pretty drastic distance, or excuse me, difference in a very short amount of time. We are not quite to our next 10 minute window, but I am already feeling, I'm feeling pretty uncomfortable. I mean, to the point where I've got a headache now and I can feel the sweat start to roll. Um, we're going to continue to push this out to an hour, but uh, if there's a lot of variables to go into play here, if we look at that dash, uh, go off. The dash is up to 132 degrees. So if we had been turned a little bit more that I was directly sitting in the sun where like my leg over here shot that it was 107 degrees, it could be drastically warmer than what we're even feeling right now. So we will uh, keep rolling through this. We're at 40. Well, we'll go ahead and check here. We're at 48 and a half minutes. Uh, let's check the outside temperature, which is holding steady there at 78, like it was, I believe, I believe 78 was still last time. And um, 131 on the dash, uh, solid 100 degrees here in the car. Check. And my head, even though it's now sweating, is still sitting at 100.2. Cat is still sitting at 102. So our internal temperatures are holding steady. Our body is doing its job to try and keep us cool. Says, you idiots, why are you sitting in the car? Um, but we will go ahead and keep rolling through this and we'll be back with you here in another 10 minutes. All right, and there we have it. We are rolling up at 59 minutes and 57, 58, 59, and 60. We have just hit one hour sitting in the car. The Let's go ahead and stop it there. We'll check all of the things really quick. We are sitting at now 79 degrees, so it has gotten a little bit warmer. Our internal temperature here now is bouncing from 102 to 103. And then our dash temperature is up to 136, 137 degrees. And we can take my temperature here. And I am sitting at 100.0. Now I can tell you, I feel uncomfortable. Cat, let's get your temperature too. Cat's still sitting at 102.2. Um, I, I can tell you, I feel uncomfortable. I have a headache. My heart rate is actually increased. I can feel that pounding more. It's probably my body starting to say, dude, you're getting hot and you should stop that. Now, this uh, thermometer actually is reading kind of a surface temperature. So um, I've started to sweat pretty good. I've got a good shine going on there. And that's a benefit that I have as a person. And dogs actually do not. Dogs don't perspire. They do release a little bit of sweating through their pads, but not to the extent that we do. Um, so, you know, even our canine companions aren't going to have the benefits that I've got going on right now. A few other temperatures that we can check here. Uh, my arm's kind of been sitting over here in the sun. It's um, hot. My leg's sitting over here in the sun the whole time. It's 106.7. Um, all... All things considered here, I definitely didn't die sitting in the vehicle today uh, for an hour. But I am to the point where I don't want to test this any longer. I am uncomfortable and ready to get out of this hot car. So let this, uh, guys, let this just be a, a little reminder that your vehicle gets hot pretty quick. Um, it's easy to lose track of time in the store, how long you've been in there. And we don't want anything to happen to our furry family companions. So um, definitely just run that vehicle. If you've got to go someplace, you got to leave them in the car, run the vehicle. A few dollars worth of gasoline is well worth your dog. And I'm just going to jump in here because I'm that crazy dog lady, cat the dog trainer, and I'm a mom. And um, I am not a huge fan of the push start vehicles because... Oh, that's they, a great thing. 
They shut off after 15, 20 minutes of running unless you go into settings and change that. But you have to change it every time you turn the car on. It's not a default setting. So be aware. So be aware. You think, oh, well, I left the car running for my, you know, dog and it'll be fine. And 20 minutes later, it shuts itself off. Your dog can't restart the car. And you think you're golden because your car is running. Well, keep that in mind so you don't have a tragic situation that might happen. If you guys are making it to our channel here for the first time, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And I am the guy with the pink gun, hot, uncomfortable, and ready to shut this one off. Thanks guys for watching. Mm -hmm.